So we lost basically everything. Smoke damage, broken windows and debris. This is what's left of Denise Hill's home on Woodlawn near Van Dyke in Detroit after a fire last week. It's the latest of several tragedies for Hill and her family. Um, I have my bad days. Sometimes it's hard. I sit around, cry, get depressed, or sometimes I just think about all the good times I had with everybody. Hill's grief began in 2015 when she lost her 16 year old son, Antoine Henley, in a car crash. In October 2019, another car crash killed her son, 17 year old Antonio Henley. A month later, her fiance, Gary Adams Sr., was shot and killed. Then in July, her 15 year old son, Gary Adams Jr., was at a birthday party when he and three friends were shot. At the time, police believed it was gang related. They were just at the wrong time, wrong place at the wrong time. So they weren't necessarily gang related. They was just at somewhere where something bad happened at. After spending the last several months in a hospital, Gary's expected to be released soon. But right now, because of the fire, Gary and his family have nowhere to call home because Hill says she can't find a house to rent. They need a house, first of all. Um, baby G needs to come home to a safe environment and he'll be released from the hospital in a few weeks. Nisi, um, Denise has been looking for a house, but hasn't been able to find one. Now this family's asking for help to get back on their feet with a GoFundMe. Hill doesn't have renter's insurance, so all money raised will go towards replacing furniture and making sure Gary has a safe place to go while he continues on his road to recovery. We want everything to be set for him when he gets out. I don't know if he'll be released from the hospital if he doesn't have a home to come to. And we don't want that to happen. He really wants to get out of there. There are a couple ways to help this family. If you have a place for them to live, reach out to us. We will put you in touch with them. There's also a GoFundMe. We have that information on Fox2Detroit.com. On Detroit's east side, Veronica Meadows, Fox 2 News.